lecture will answer your questions about whether to use commas or not with adjective clauses. Let's see if I can make the lecture go on here. There we go. Um, the first thing you need to know um, is that you should not add commas if the adjective clause is necessary for understanding the context of the sentence especially the noun that it modifies. So in this sentence that you see in the example, the adjective clause is necessary um, because the noun that it's modifying, which is the oil spill, is really too general for us to understand what the sentence is talking about unless we have the information in the adjective clause. So the oil spill that is gushing 70,000 barrels of oil a day into the Gulf Coast is posing an immense danger to the environment. If I just read the information in oops, the main clause, which is the oil spill is posing an immense danger to the environment, you wouldn't know which oil spill I was talking about or anything at all. Therefore, the, the information in the adjective clause is necessary for you to understand what I'm talking about. And we don't add commas to show that it's necessary. We do add commas if the adjective clause gives extra information. And it's not necessary for understanding the context of the sentence. So here, for example, the Gulf oil spill. Now that's a specific noun. It's actually a, a proper noun. So we really know, we already have lots of information about what that is. The Gulf oil spill, comma, which now exceeds 70,000 barrels of oil a day, comma, is posing an immense danger to the environment. Here, we have enough information just in the main clause, the Gulf oil spill is posing an immense danger to the environment, to understand what the sentence is talking about, even without the adjective clause. The adjective clause is just extra information. Nice to know, but not necessary. So we put commas around it to show that it's extra. Um, um, continuing with that thought, uh, if you have a, a rule is that you do, if you have a proper noun, you use um, adjective clauses around, uh, commas around the adjective clause because the adjective clause is um, probably extra. Proper nouns um, um, generally give us enough information because they're really specific. They're a person or a place uh, without having um, to use an adjective clause. And so the example is Tacoma Community College, comma, which is located in Washington State, comma, is a wonderful place to study. And um, that sentence um, has enough information alone in the main clause here uh, without the adjective clause. So we put um, commas around the adjective clause, sorry, to show that it is um, extra information. Nice to know, but not necessary for understanding the sentence. And similarly, the second sentence, Raisa, who's studying English, also has a job on campus. She's busy. So um, here, Raisa is a proper noun. So we all know Raisa. Um, and we don't need the information here to understand what the sentence is talking about. So we put commas around it to show uh, that it's extra. One more thing you need to know about commas is that you cannot use that if there are commas around the adjective clause. That means if it's a non-restrictive relative clause, one that's giving extra information, don't use that, use which. You can use any other um, relative pronoun, who, whom, which, whose, where, when, but don't use that. And don't use that if there's commas around the adjective clause. So now let's practice a little bit on exercise 35, page 286. Um, in the first two that are, that are done for you, let's talk about those. The first one um, is necessary for understanding the sentence, so we don't put commas around it. The man is very general. Um, so if we, oops, if we look at the sentence the, in the main clause, the man has three cats and a dog, that's really, if I walked up to you and said, hey, the man has three cats and a dog, you wouldn't know what I was talking about. So we need the information in the adjective clause to show, um, uh, to understand the context of the sentence. Therefore, there are no commas around it. That shows that it's necessary. Uh, number two, which is already done, um, has commas because the adjective clause describes a person, Erica Nelson. Erica Nelson is a proper